hi Dawn here from Dawn's Earthly Delights and Wildcraft Botanicals. This new video we're going to talk about pruning your fruit trees. This is an apple tree. I am not certain what kind of apple tree it is yet. I'm going to take an apple into the Conservation Society and I'm going to have them hopefully identify it for me. It was on this property long before we bought it. Uh, one of the things you want to think about when you're pruning your tree so you can prune in, most people prune in the late winter, early spring. Those are usually the times when you prune. If you prune in the late winter, it's usually good for creating vigorous growth. Um, springtime is good for pruning when you can still see where your buds are. They're just starting to break and you can see where your fruit buds are. So if you wanna to prune towards your, your fruit, it's easier to do it that way. When you want to take back your tree, when you want to, um, it's they also call it heading it off. If you want to prune to bring the size of your tree down, you would do that in the summertime, and I'm going to explain why. So, winter time you do it for your vigorous growth. The reason why you do it in the late winter time also is because it's still cold enough that it can repair and heal those wounds. Whereas if you do it like in the summer or the fall. It's not really cold enough. All that energy is going towards your fruit and it doesn't have the energy necessary to um, really truly heal up those wounds and it can scar your tree. In the fall, you don't necessarily want to prune so much in the fall because all that energy that was stored in the leaves is now working its way down into the root system. So again, it's not really conducive to healing up the wounds of, of your pruning. And this, I didn't prune last year. Um, I just decided to not prune one year and, and now I'm going to go ahead and prune this year. One of the things you want to do when you're pruning, you want to create a vase-like structure because you want a lot of the light to be able to get into the center of that tree as well because that will help with your, with your leaf growth and your fruit, your fruit production. So this one, it's taken me a few years to get this pruned in a way where I have enough light to come in and I'm shaping it a little bit better. Unfortunately, because I did not prune it last year, it kind of got away from me. So I'm gonna have to really carefully prune it this year. One of the other things you wanna consider is you don't really wanna prune more than about 25% of your tree at a time. Otherwise, you're not gonna have a lot of fruit that year. And um, it can also kind of stunt the growth sometimes if you're not careful about it. When pruning, you want to look for where so let me show you real quick the difference between a fruiting bud and a leaf bud. So the, these little nods right here, these are your leaf buds. Whereas these bigger nodules right here, these bigger buds, these are my fruiting buds. Okay, this is where my fruit is going to come in. So once this um, bud breaks, it's going to create about, you know, five or six little flowers and that in turn is going to turn into fruit. And later on, I'll show you a video of how to um, prune back your fruit just a little bit so that you have bigger, um, bigger fruit in the, in the season. So one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to carefully select and I'm going to prune just a little bit so I can show you what I'm doing. So the direction in which you prune. So if, if I clip this right above this bud right here, then there's a chance that that's going to form another branch out this way. If I clip it right here, then I'm going to form another branch out this way. So I want to be careful how I'm pruning in order to get the good direction that I want. So I'm actually going to prune right here and I'm going to do it kind of close and I'm just going to clip it. I want a good clean cut. I want it to be relatively close to that that bud but not too close otherwise disease can get in there and it can cause this bud to rot and then and then all is lost if you prune a little too far away then again um, you're just going to get stuff hung up on it and branches and it's it's not good for picking i am going to take this tree back a little bit but i'm not going to do it in the summertime i'm going to do it now because i want more vigorous growth and I'm going to clip this back. So as you can see, this was not a good clip last year and it caused this breaking and this scarring. So I am actually going to clip it right about here. There we go. And now I have a good clean cut. 
I've taken off some of the um, some of the uh, volume of my tree, but not too much. All right, this is going to be a good branch for these. Is oh, let me get this one right here. There, this is going to create fruit here, here, and here. But I'm changing the direction of where it's going to come out of. All right, so that's for your just your basic pruning on your branches. Now, one of the other things I want to talk about is these are called water sprouts, and we're going to take all of these off. These are shoots that come up vertically. They tend to be weaker and they steal energy from the tree. So remember when you are pruning back, you're gonna get rid of stuff that is going to sap energy from your fruit bearing branches. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to take all of these off. And I want a good, clean cut. All right, let me come over on this side. So you can see what I'm doing. Um, one of the things that I am going to have to come through with a saw and I'm going to take this one off. It's, it's just in the way. And I use this branch also for standing on when I'm, when I'm picking, when I'm picking my apples. So this is your basic pruning and I'm going to do pictures periodically while I am pruning this so you can get an idea of how it's going to turn out. All right. So this is, apples are a lot easier. I'll do one on plums. It's a little bit more difficult. Plums produce, my plums anyways, the plum trees that I have, they produce these um, vertical shoots out the base of the, the, the tree and they're called suckers. And they actually come out from the root system. So the water sprouts come usually out from the branches. Suckers usually come from the base of the tree from the root system. So I'm going to keep pruning this back and I'll shoot another video shortly to show you the end product and what it looks like. I hope that was, I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye.